Hey guys, today I'm filming my Shop My Stash for December. So this is gonna be the first month that I'm using my winter makeup products. I am so sad that fall is over. I didn't get to test everything I was wanting to, but I did still get to use a lot of good products. And I am excited to get into winter makeup this month. And I will of course be testing some new things, but then also pulling in some favorites but I am wanting to test a decent amount of new things before the end of the year. And last month I forgot to show you guys my nail polish picks. So I'm gonna be showing you the nail polishes I wore last month and this month. There's not as many here as you may think or as normal. I really stretched out my manicures this month. This first one is Decay from 90 Lacquer. Then I have these two 90 Lacquer polishes I wore together. Holy Fire on top, Igneo Peblet on the bottom. I wore these two together, OPI Ginger Bells and Worth a Pretty Penne. I wore this one on Thanksgiving. This is 9-0 Lacquer Turkey Coma. And then I'm actually wearing these three right now, all from Kale Polish. We have Princess Penny, Leo, and Prince Cornelius. I really liked this combo. I will be starting a winter project pan in just a few videos from now. I haven't actually picked the products yet. So of course, some of these things may be changing. Starting with my first drawer, which is very full. This is where I've got primers, foundations, concealers, and cream and liquid bronzers and highlighters. I have a few new things in these categories that I want to test. First being two shades of the e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter. I have shades number one, which I'm going to use as a primer glowy step, and then six, which I'm going to use as a bronzing step. And then I also have this Ofra liquid highlighter in the shade Monroe that I bought from Ulta. I'm really excited to try this formula and just see if I think I'm going to use this enough to make it worth keeping. So I do want to pull in a couple other primers. This is a sample that I got from Sephora that I'm really wanting to try, the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder, and this is the clear universal color. And then I think I will also pick this. I don't think I've used from this tube yet, but I do think this is a really nice hydrating primer, the Tarte Base Tape. So I'm gonna take that as well. For foundation, I played around actually with a lot this past month, just pulling, I actually used this one, this one, this one, this one, just to see how well they would wear for work. Cause it's been such a long time since I've had my makeup on all day long without a mask on. So what? I use the Charlotte Tilbury one too. I'm trying to think what I have not used yet. Use this. I think I will take the both of these. The Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation and the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie. For the Kosas, I'm in Very Light Neutral 100, and for Pure Cosmetics, I am LN2. Then for corrector and concealer, I now have a couple correctors in my collection, and in December, I wanna focus on using the Sigma color corrector in light to medium a little bit more. And then I will use this along with the foundation, the Kosas Revealer Concealer, and my color is 0.5 neutral. Now on to powders, bronzers, and highlighters. So for powder, I'm almost done with my Maybelline Fit Me loose powder, so I'm not exactly sure. I know I wanted to work on the Sigma one, but this one can be a little dark, so I think it will just depend on the color of those foundations, but I think I might just go with my Too Faced Born This Way loose powder, which is one of my favorites for winter time, and I haven't used this very much, so I think I will pick that for powder. For bronzer, we're gonna take it all the way back to a classic Benefit Hula. This is like my number one favorite for winter time. This is just a little sample size. So I'm gonna pick just that one. And then for highlighter, I actually have something that isn't cool tone like the rest of these products are gonna be, but it's new and I want to test it. This is the Hills from Ofra, such a pretty color. I wanna compare it to some of my other similar shades just to see if this is different enough that I need to keep it, but it looks so beautiful. And I don't know, am I crazy or is there like a little pink in there? Most of my other like wintry highlights are in a palette. So I'm sure I'll go for that next month, but my other favorite 
for winter, sorry for all the noise, would be Jaclyn Cosmetics Iced. This is such a pretty color. So I am gonna be picking this for highlighter. So then for blush, I am still just gonna like try new things. So I think I am gonna pull out a lot of my new products and we'll see what all I get to. This first thing is kind of warm toned. I mean, not kind of, it's very warm tone but it's new i want to test it out and compare it to the other sigma cheek products that i have this is the glistening glow cheek duo so i'll probably use this more at the beginning of the month and maybe i'll use this with some warm tone makeup for work or something but it looks so pretty i love their cheek products but then also from here some new powder blushes i have would be these two so this first one is Moon from Benefit. I'm loving their new blushes and look at this color. I know this is gonna be rich for my skin tone, but I don't mind, I'm not scared. I'm gonna go ahead with a light hand. And then I got this one from Ulta during 21 Days of Beauty. This has been raved about like a long time ago, but I finally picked it up. This is the MAC Mineralized Blush in Gentle. It looks so pretty. And then to pick some creams, it is like a lot going on over here. I want to take the newer ones that came in the Rare Beauty set. And I think I actually also have a little sample that I think would be a good color for this time. Should I just take all of these? Maybe I will. We'll see what I end up using. So these are all my, not all my Rare Beauty liquid blushes. I have two other ones. But the full size one is Encourage. Then we have the mini size in Happy. I think the new color is truth yes and then i have these little sample sizes in believe and whoa this one doesn't say i don't know i'll put it on the screen maybe it's grace maybe it's grace so five rare beauty liquid blushes to use this month and i think i'm okay with just picking those for now and we'll see what other things I gravitate towards this month. So the top drawer here is where I have my cream shadows, pencil liners, liquid shadows. I'm not going to pick anything from here for now. Some of these things may end up in my winter project pan, but I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. For mini palettes, I do think I want to pick from here. There are several Natasha Denona minis that I have not used yet. And ooh. Yeah, I need to take these. I've had these for too long to not be used. So we'll start with these, the M Cosmetics Cosmic Pearl Dewy Shadows in Wish and Star Child. Ooh, pretty. Yes, I have to use those. And if I pick too many things, that's okay. And then we'll just see what gets used and what doesn't. But I don't think I've used this one yet. This is Natasha Denona Joya. This is Natasha Denona Eyeshadow Palette number five the Natasha Denona Cupid palette. And I also have Natasha Denona Mini Crush that I have not used yet. So I think I'll pick this one as well. I know that's a lot of shadows. I may have overdone it, but again, if I don't get to everything this month, I can use it next month. So for large palettes, I'm just going to pick one. This is the Adept Cosmetics Heather Austin palette. I use these three and these three shades last month. But all of these are actually a little bit more cool tone. So I think that those would be perfect for winter time. So I want to, you know, fully get my review on all the shades in this palette. So I do want to use these as well. So uh, lots of eyeshadow picks. Then for lip products, it's tough because I have a lot of new things I want to use. My Makeup by Mario lippies, my Lawless glosses, and then... I've been lucky enough to get a couple PR packages from Kaja and there were so many lippies in there. So I think next month I'll use Lawless and Makeup by Mario. And this month I'm gonna mostly focus on my Kaja lippies and then we'll probably pick a few other things. Okay, this product says that it is for eyes and cheeks. So I might try it on the cheeks, but I wanna see what I think of this on the lips actually. This is the Kaja Whipped Dream and number three, Rose Macaroon. So I don't see myself using it on my eyes, but I can try that too. I forgot, I also got this newish to me L'Oreal lipstick. It's the Glow Paradise Balm in the color 130 Nude Heaven. So I definitely want to try this formula as well to see if I like this and want to keep it. From Kaja, I have two shades of the Heart Melter Moisture Melt Lip Gloss Stick. I'm wondering how this compares to the Makeup by Mario. 
And the colors I have would be number three, Crazy For You. And number seven, Let's Chill. I also have four of the Love Swipe lightweight cushiony lip mousse so i want to test all four of these colors so i have number five i'm melting number four swipe right number two sweet softy and number one call me then i have some mini kaja gloss shots this was limited edition from last year rosy mocha this is pink drink this is looking more like maybe a summer color to me but i think you know, I'll see if there's a look where this would be a good pick. And then this was new limited edition from this year, Berry Slushy, which looks perfect for winter. So I will take all of these as well. So those are all my Kaja lippies except for the nude lip gloss, which I've already tested in fall. So that's all I'm going to pick for lips. Wow, I picked a lot of products. We'll see if I can get use out of everything. So I'm gonna put everything away in the drawers and then I'll show you the finished product. All right, so now let me show you everything in the drawers. And then I do still have that everyday basket, which doesn't have much in it, just a couple powders, concealers, my brow products, stuff like that. But let me show you the fun stuff. So here is my base drawer primers concealers correctors foundations and my powder then we have my cheek products so all my rare beauty liquid blushes liquid bronzer and highlight and my highlights my blushes my bronzer my little cheek duo from sigma i'm really impressed with how everything fit in here and my eye product drawer hasn't been this full in a long time because usually i have big palettes so i just have stacked up my little natasha jona quads or five pans I should say and then my little M Cosmetic singles so glad I'm finally using these and then here what all the Kaja lippies look like not in the boxes so uh, lots of different formulas to test and then the only thing I have on the side would be my Adept Cosmetics Heather Austin palette to use the rest of the shimmers in there so there you have it there is my shot my stash for December very excited to start using a new set of products and I did pick a lot of new stuff so I'll have a lot of things to test out I would love to hear your thoughts on these products and I would love to know if you have any tips for how to use any of my liquid and cream products. And I would love to know what you guys are using this month. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.